Okay, it is day four of the seven day journaling masterclass. And today we're going to set up a weekly spread. So weekly spreads, there are a billion different types of them. I'm going to do quite a straightforward weekly spread. And then if you check the email that this link was in, I will post a whole bunch of inspiration for different types of weekly spreads. There are Dutch doors, there are circular, there are hexagonal, um, tons of different things. So let's do a straightforward one. First of all, I'm going to do what is effectively a one day weekly spread. And then I'm gonna spread it out onto two days by having a rolling to-do list. And I'll talk you through that when we get to it. So the single page weekly spread, the basis to that is that, as you would expect, it is a single page. I'm gonna go up a little bit so I can fit washi tape along the bottom. Um, everything that you want to be able to see on one page. The other version of kind of a weekly spread is where you have more room to write things under each day. And what you use will depend on your preference, really. This works quite well if you have a to-do list running alongside it, or if you do dailies every day. Um, you have to kind of figure out what's gonna work for you. So. doing my little header boxes and I may turn these into drop shadow boxes in a second. I'm going to leave that one. Let's go over and make those all into a drop shadow and when I'm doing that I'm taking the stencil, taking it slightly to the right and slightly down as there. And then what we're doing is imagining that the box that you've just drawn is in the foreground and the box that you're drawing behind it falls behind it. So anything that would fall behind, you don't draw. Hopefully that makes sense. And you'll see what I'm doing when I reveal the stencil. So that's what I've got as my weekly layout. As I said, I'm gonna add a bit of washi tape across the bottom to tie it into everything else that I've done this month. You can use absolutely anything you could do a weekly spread that was themed. Um, you don't have to do any decoration. It's totally up to you. And then I'm gonna use my day of the week stickers. Hopefully you can see those just to add in the days. What I could do, as you see on the days of the week stickers, I've got the, a sticker for a weekend. So I could have made just a single box for the weekend. Right, so I've got my nail varnish on there. And then I need to remember what the days of the month are.
I'm going to use this area up here, let's zoom in a little bit, to put in the, di the calendar of the month so that you can see where this week falls. And one, two, three. I'm also going to do is add in the shadow.
Oh, I just realised I wasn't filming there. Sorry about that. So that's my three habits, which are going to be skincare, So I can basically mark through each of those. Oh, that's my weekly spread. And then what I'm going to do is add in a running to-do list on the other side. So it's a really simple way of making your task list for the week. I'm going to put So that's my days. and then your task goes in this column. And the idea is with the running to-do list, it's really simple. So basically you can add in your task on this side. So for example, it may be something really simple like check emails. Let's zoom in so you can see. So check emails is here and then you would put a little box on the days that you want to do that. So I'm going to do that Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then I can run down each day and know the task that I'm going to do on that particular day. If I miss it, I can do a little arrow to migrate it to another day. If I migrate it to another week, then I would put it over into the forward column and it goes over onto the next week. So that is my weekly spread. Um, as I said, there's a ton of different variations on weekly spreads, which I will do a little montage of at the end of this video. Um, stay tuned. Tomorrow we will be doing daily spreads um, and I'll give you a little bit of insight as to when I use those and when I don't.